In this video with the On King, I'm going to show you how to update your decks using the Special Fields add-on, which was recently updated and is far superior to what it was before. Uh, so first, I'm going to explain how this works. This is really important. Uh, when you import a deck, the first thing Anki is going to do is check the note ID. As long as that matches, it'll move on to the next step and check the note type. And if that matches, it'll keep moving on and import the deck. If the note ID doesn't match, it's going to give you a dialogue message that says the cards were added. That's because Anki sees it as a totally different card because the note ID is the identity of the card. Now, if the note type doesn't match, it's going to say the notes were skipped because the note type was different. And now I use this close onking mastered note type in all of my cards, um, but it has different field names and such. And if it's modified in such a way, for example, if it's the same name here, but you've modified all the field names, then it's going to import a new card type uh, with a bunch of numbers after it like this. So if that happens to you, that means that your note types were different and you need to fix that. Uh, now, assuming that everything is correct, which it should be, it's going to move on. So you have the text and extra field in the typical close card, uh, and I'm just de representing those in the two decks here. And what's going to happen when you update is that uh, it's going to say that it updated, and it's going to replace the contents with, what, with the deck that is being imported. Uh, now, the cool thing here is that the special fields add-on allows us to manipulate this process. So, for example, if you didn't want anything in the extra field to get updated, then you can protect it with the extra uh, special fields add-on, and then it will update the text field and not the extra. It also can do things like this with the tags. So let's say in this situation, we're going to protect the extra and the text field because we only want to update our tags. It's not going to update those. But if we say uh, there's an option in special fields where we can tell it we don't want it to combine the tags, so that means it's just going to update them. But if we decide we want to combine the tags, then it's going to add the tags from both the deck being imported and your current deck. And we're going to use both of these tools in updating decks that I'm going to show you in just a second. Now I'm going to use my Onking Step 1 deck as an example, but this applies to everything. The first step is you want to put all the cards in the same head deck. In my case, it's, an, it's named Onking. And this is so that if any cards were added, that they will be placed in the same sub decks instead of creating new decks altogether. Uh, second, like I said before, you want to make sure everything is the same card type. This is important or it won't work. Now at this point, there's an, uh, there's an optional step where you can export any uh, cards with tags that you want to save if you have personal tags and you don't want it to overwrite those. I'll show you all of this in just a second so that it'll make it more clear. Now the first real step in updating is you want to set up the special fields add-on and then you import the new update. Uh, and then at this point, if you did the first optional step, you're going to re-import those tags after changing the special fields add-on settings again. Uh, and then lastly, uh, a lot of people forget this, but it's very important. You want to clean up and clear the unused tags to make sure everything looks better. Uh, and then if you have decks that have images, uh, I don't share those, but you can at this point import them, to, uh, uh, but make sure that you're using them legally. Uh, and then there is a select few people who I've been adding major content changes to mine, and if they are protecting the text and extra fields, then I will add a step at the end to explain how you can get those updates. Uh, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to both John Pincock and Arthur Milkior. These two guys helped me update the special fields add-on so that the dialogue now looks like this. It is far, far more user-friendly and makes things way easier, and you'll really appreciate that in a second. Um, also, if you have any problems, we did set up a Patreon account to help anybody with things. Uh, you're also welcome to just support us there if you want to say thank you, because this has been a huge project. Uh, so with that, let's go. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the first step, like I mentioned uh, in the PowerPoint, is that you want to have your head deck here as the same as this deck. And this is how I have the layout. Ideally, you actually want all of your sub decks the same as well. And the reason for that is if I add a card to this metabolism deck, it's going to add it into this deck. Uh, and so if you don't have things formatted this way, it's going to create all of these decks, which can be quite a mess if you don't have it set up properly. So that's the first step. Now, first, I'm going to show you if I click on this, there's no deck description there. Uh, and if I go into the browser and click on the card types, uh, I've put a little thing in here just to show you how this updates. Let's go ahead and type this here, Onking V5 note type. Uh, and you'll see that this will change and get over, uh, this will override it and add Onking V6 as well as a couple other changes that I've added to make the card type more compatible with Onki 2.1.20 uh, and moving forward. Now, like I said, the first optional step 
here's the tags of the Onking deck. Those are the ones that I'm updating. Uh, but I personally have added tags for my university, and you may have done the same thing and you want to save those. Uh, now you're going to want to put all of them underneath one head deck or one head tag, at least temporarily. It'll make this a lot simpler. Uh, and I recommend the better tags add on for that. So I'm going to click on that tag, and then I'm going to click and do Command or Control A uh, to select all of these cards. And then I'm going to export all of these cards. If you're on Anki 2.1.20 or later, you're going to go to Notes, Export Notes. Uh, if you're on an earlier version, it'll be under the edit menu and you need to have the edit selected cards in browser add-on and, and there will be an option for you to uh, edit, export them. But I'm going to go ahead and export here uh, and then I'm going to uncheck both of these. You don't need either of those and then I'm going to head to, uh, click export and I've actually already exported it here so I'm going to close out of that just to save some time. So that's the first step. Now the first step for the majority of you is just going to be setting up the special fields add-on. You're going to go to actually tools now and you're going to click special fields. I've added a shortcut here. Uh, and then this is way, way, way more user friendly. Huge thank you to those guys that uh, helped me with this. This will make things a lot easier for you. Uh, so these are the fields that I would recommend the majority of you protect. There may be a few of you that want to protect the text and extra fields because you started using the deck before we started these updates. Um, and you would just add them just like I did there. Uh, you can also delete fields. Uh, and then you can set up what your defaults you want them to be and then restore to defaults. Uh, but the first step we're going to do, we're gonna, we want to update. So we're going to click Update Settings. Uh, and then we're going to import this deck. Well, I'll explain to you kind of what's going on here. It, it makes it so that we'll update the note styling. We'll update the deck description. Uh, and we're not going to combine the tagging because we want to update the tagging. Uh, and this one down here, update only if newer. Uh, it, it, you previously, you had to make the deck newer by changing it somehow before you imported it. And as long as this stays unchecked, you no longer have to do that. It will force the update. Um, so we're going to close out of this and we're going to import the version 6. It's that simple. Uh, and as soon as my little wheel here stops spinning and that updates, I will show you how to do the cleanup, which is very important. I, it's a very forgotten step that most people forget to do. Um, okay, this dialogue, when it pops up, very important, read it. Uh, it. It tells you a lot of information. As you can see, I all of my notes updated. If yours says notes skipped for whatever reason, you're going to want to find the notes that skipped and what they are and go investigate why. Perhaps the note type is not correct or whatever. Uh, and then you can see that I had some notes added. So I'm going to close that, uh, and this should be updated. Now if I click on this, the deck description should have been updated. As you can see, I've added this in here, uh, which basically has an updates log for all of the decks. It tells you what's in the decks. It tells you how to submit errors. It tells you how to contact us, uh, all the people who contributed to the deck, all sorts of good stuff. And this allows me to continually update this in future updates. The other thing it did in the browser, like I showed you before, is it's going to update this note type. So if we go to cards, you can see that that is now gone um, where we had typed it uh, and there's a bunch of other updates in here that I added uh, specifically to these image fields to make it so that they uh, grow when you hover over them and a couple other things. Uh, now as you can see I've got my uh, oh, U of U tags here and I've got this onking tag here but when I click on it nothing happens um, and, and that's why we need to clean up. So what we're going to do is go to notes and we're going to clear unused tags and it's going to delete those and now you can see we're left with just the tags that were in this update uh, and everything looks a lot better. The colors here you get from the new better tags add-on from Glutanimate. Definitely give him a follow if you haven't already. His stuff is awesome. Um, so that 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 is the, for the majority of you, that is all you will need to do. Uh, I would recommend, however, that you do this next step which applies to the optional step as well which is go back to the special fields add-on and I would recommend clicking import tag settings or restore to default uh, which will then turn off the updates and make it so that uh, at least things won't get updated if you accidentally import your friends deck or whatever and it will also prevent your note styling from changing so that you can customize your colors. Now for those of you importing tags this is important because now we're going to combine the tagging and all fields are special means it's going to protect all of the fields. We don't want any updates because your previous uh, th this this field that we exported or this deck here that we exported had your fields, but I just updated those and so we don't want to re-import the old ones, so we're going to protect all the fields. Uh, now the catch here is if you are doing this step, you're actually going to need to open a new profile. Uh, and I've made a profile here for my tags and I've already imported this deck into here to make things simpler. 
So I'm going to go into the browser and show you this is really important. As you can see, I've got what the old one was here with all of these tags and my tags. Now we don't want to import back in all of these old tags, so we need to delete them. Uh, again, if you have more than just this, uh, getting the better tags add-on will make it easy to drag them all under one uh, and then delete the tags. So we're going to delete those so that we are left with just that one tag, which is all that we want. Uh, and then at this point, as you can remember, the, the deck description here is old, and that's why we're not updating that with the special fields add-on. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to export this. Uh, and again, you don't need to include either of those. I'm going to hit export. I'll go to my desktop, and I'm just going to overwrite this like I had previously. We'll save that, replace it, uh, overwrite. It's going to place that uh, <clears throat> right there. Now we're going to go back in. Uh, let's see, to this version 5, which is actually 6 now, is my current profile, and we want to import those in. So like I said, I'm just going to pull up the special fields dialog real quick. We're going to combine the tagging and make all the fields special so that it's just importing that University of Utah tag. So I'm going to click on this, import the University of Utah tag. Um, when this uploads, it'll show you what it's doing. It should say that all cards were updated. Uh, and then when we go back in, you'll see that the version 6 tags are still there. Uh, but we also now have combined the other ones. So you can see everything updated. So I will close this. We'll go into the browser. Um, sorry, it's a little bit slow here because we're dealing with such a big deck. There we go. And you can see that it now added this in, but we also have the new tags from the version 6 stuff as well as that. So that's that step. And then, like I said, there's a few of you who are protecting the text in the extra field because uh, for whatever you're adding a bunch of closed deletions, or uh, perhaps you were using the deck before I added all these other fields, and so you were putting your, your edits in there, and, and you don't want them to be deleted. Um, that, that can be, you don't get any of the updates that I'm adding if I find things that are really important. And if you look here, I'll go into here, to Onking Updates, I've got this uh, errata tag. And these are the cards that I made significant changes to. Um, that, were, that were really important. Uh, for example, you can see on this card that uh, diagnosis of HIV was previously like this. Uh, however, that has actually changed and they're using antibodies now. So that's a, uh, a pretty serious change that most people would want to get. Uh, and as you can see right now, there's only 122 cards. In the future, I'm actually going to add a sub tag to this for version 6, uh, uh, version 7, whatever, so that you can only deal with the ones that uh, are the version that you're updating to. But for now, you're going to want all of these 122. So what you're going to do, um, in this case, you're going to switch profiles and uh, make a new profile. I've made one here for content updates. And you're actually going to import the Onking version 6 into this. Um, and so I'm going to go to the browser. And uh, you're, you want the tag, uh, all cards that have this tag, uh, which is only 121. As, uh, and you're going to select that, select all. And you're going to, like I showed you before, export notes and export them. I've already done that here. <clears throat> but you're going to export that again. Uh, <clears throat> this time you are not. You don't need either of these as well because you're just dealing with the text and extra fields. So uh, that's the that's that first step here. And then we're going to import them. So we'll go switch profile. We'll go to my current profile. Uh, now remember, this only has 120 cards in it. So I'm going to go back, open up the special fields thing here. Now previously you would have had oops, the text and extra field protected. Um, this time when you import these 120, you're going to lose your personal edits on those 120 cards. However, I think it's probably beneficial because I've made uh, changes that were submitted by the community. So I would actually delete both of these. Uh, you're going to import that on this uh, and you're going to want the update settings. And then you go ahead and import that uh, and it'll overwrite those 120 cards. So that's basically it for everybody. Hopefully that makes a, a, a very simple thing. Like I said, thank you to John and to Arthur for updating the special fields add-on so that we have this super user-friendly thing. Uh, if, you, if you need help, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to do our best and help you. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.